Hey guys, it's me, Badger. Um, so Halloween is coming up, and so I'm putting all my other cosplay projects kind of to a standstill so I can be able to work on my Halloween costumes. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing for a bit, uh, for a while. Um, I'll put in the description below kind of what cosplay projects I'm going to be working on in what order, so you guys kind of have an idea of what's coming next because I realize I should be more on top of that. Um, and so yeah, I'll just get straight into the video. So I started by wrapping myself um, with cling foil so that I could get a good uh, measurement of my body, a good template, and also using this paper tape um, to get the better form to get the shape. And so also in the past I've used duct tape, but I find that paper tape is actually better for this because it's easier to draw on. So. Alright, so now I'm going to cut myself free from this, but, uh, definitely, if you can, do this with someone else, because otherwise it's... <laughs> Feels like cut yourself free. It's always so satisfying. When you do that. No, 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 no. Hopefully that didn't cut my shirt. Ah. Right. So obviously I need to do some fixing with this to make it correct. But I got my basic idea, and so now I'm just gonna do fixing up and I'll show you what it looks like then. So I cut out the template, um, and I'm going to cut out this bigger piece, um, the main part of the corset, on this really pretty fabric here. Um, and these two pieces, and this is, this will come in later, um, it's more of like a connecting piece, but, um, these two will be in black. So I'm gonna move those aside now and I'm gonna trace everything down and cut it out and then we'll go from there. Here are the pieces cut out. So I uh, kind of glued all the pieces together um, but it's kind of flimsy. So I'm gonna do some embroidery kind of stitching and sewing. Maybe even do a little bit of cross stitch just to give it some extra flair, make it look prettier and also more sturdy. I'm still not sure how I'm going to connect uh, like the two sides of the corset um, and how that's going to look. Like whether or not like I Velcro it and have it look as if it's laced together or actually lace them together. I'm still not sure at this point. Um, but I'm going to get onto the uh, sewing kind of details, the trimmings and whatnot, making it look all pretty before I decide how they are going to connect to each other. Right, so I have finished uh, my stitching. I don't know if you can see that. The lighting makes it kind of shadowy. Um, but I finished the stitching in this. So, I don't know. I'll put a picture here um, of what it looks like, but I finished the stitching and on this side, so I'm going to move on to the next side. The stitching on this is pretty straightforward. Um, instead of, you know, usually you try to hide it, I was on purposely trying to make it so they get seen, so they kind of looks more classy, kind of more old fashioned kind of way. Kind of how you would uh, sew a leather corset, kind of. That was my thinking when I did this. I'm really glad I did that because originally I didn't plan to. And this is how it looks like with all the stitchings. 
and I decided to glue in on the inside of the corset to give it more stiffness, to keep it more steady, and to give it kind of some boning because usually corsets have that. So um, I have finished the corset, so I kind of put on what I have so far for my cosplay, which is this uh, skirt um, and this shirt. And I'm going to show you guys um, what it looks like putting on the corset. So, um, so like I already filmed this part of the video, but my brother was screaming in the background, and I thought it wouldn't be, because usually there is some noise in the background, but you can't really hear it in the actual video. So, yeah, I just felt crows on, but. It was very obvious you could hear it in the video, so I have to redo this, which is annoying, but... Alright. A lot of this is just getting it aligned. Um, I like to have, like, when I did this earlier, I had someone else, my sister, to help me uh, line everything up, make sure everything's lined up how it should be. Um... Because you can't really see behind you. Almost had it in line. Almost. Right. And now I have to straighten it. Make sure everything is nice and straight. And that's how the corset comes on. And that's, this is what it looks like from the back. Um, let me do some adjustments there. But, so I decided to do Velcro in the front. Just make it look as if like I kind of, uh, you know, lace them together in the back. Um, and yeah, this is, the overall corset, I actually, I quite enjoy how it's, hold on, I quite, I actually like how it turned out. I think it looks really good. Um, all I have to do now is uh, make the like you, and if I add a little bit of accessories if I want to, but I have other costumes I need to get to, including the Mandalorian cosplay, which has a lot more complicated pieces, so obviously that's a higher priority. But yeah, this is the this is the finished corset. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video and um, maybe learn something about an easier way of making a corset.